What's up, you guys? We'll be back. What's going on, you guys? We back. We got another rapid disc review for you. Sorry, it's been a minute. I hope you guys have been enjoying the little shorts I've been putting out. We're gonna be getting right back into the rapid disc reviews a couple times a week like we've been doing. So today we've got the Latitude 64 Strive we're gonna be taking a look at today. It's a 13.5, negative one three. This thing feels a little flippier than those numbers, I will admit. When you look at this thing and hold this thing, it feels really thin, low profile, like a flippy driver. And the parting line, I mean, the, the wing on this thing is almost touching the bottom of the disc. See, I don't know if you can see that, but that parting line is really low. You guys can tell. The wing on this thing almost comes down to the bottom of the rim. So just based on feel, this thing feels a little bit flippier. Now it is a 13 speed. So hopefully it'll have some late speed stability, but I don't know, this thing might actually be like a really bomber distance driver. We're gonna take it out there in a couple of test drives, test drives, what? Test, I can't even talk now. We're gonna take it out there on a couple of test drives and see how the drive holds up. We're gonna try to throw it out there flat first, see what happens. Wow. You're kidding me, right? That just went really far. Heiser flipped to flat and just went dead straight. I didn't throw it as flat as I wanted to. It kind of came out on a little bit of Heiser, but it flipped up flat. Whew. Okay, that that's a okay. I'm kind of speechless right now. Hold on. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of blown away right now by that thing. I really liked how it flipped up to flat. It didn't get a lot of drift left to right. It just went super straight like a laser beam. I mean. If I had a 400 foot tunnel shot, that's what I'd want to throw right there. That's exactly the shot that you want to throw on that kind of shot. Wow, what a, what a beautiful, beautiful flight that is. Huh, huh, excited about that. We're going to throw it on some turnovers and see how they, see if it wants to burn over on us or not. See if we can't get it to flex out right in front of that tree and then maybe go around it. See how it does. Wow. I really couldn't have drawn it up better than that. I mean, I did exactly what I wanted it to do, or the disc did exactly what I wanted it to do. Drifted right, plenty, just enough time, started to come back, never burned over, never tried to roll on me. Man, that's, uh, we might be in trouble here, guys. I wanna say I'm in trouble I'm talking about, uh, I really like this disc, and my distance driver lineup is kind of already set. So putting this in my bag would really just be me adding a disc. But I kinda like it, I kinda wanna add it. Just flies really, really nice. I like how it seems to go pretty far, pretty effortlessly. I uh, I don't know, my other drivers might be kind of in trouble because this thing's flying pretty far and I'm not really having to try to put a lot on it. I mean, it's a 13 speed and I'm able to get some pretty easy turn out of it and just really easy distance. Man, we're gonna try this thing on a hyzer flip now. See if it'll hold the hyzer or if it'll actually flip up. We're gonna try to crank it. Generally when I try to do anything right, <laughs> generally when I try to throw the disc, when I try to throw flat, sometimes I throw it on a little hyzer. When I try to throw hyzer, sometimes I put it on a little extra hyzer. So this is probably gonna be like an extra thrive. Uh, extra thryzer throw. Well, this is probably gonna be like an extra hyzer throw, but we'll see if it'll try to flip up on it. Kind of baby flipped up actually. I really just kind of threw that a little nose up, but it kind of did flip up even, even on that. I liked that hyzer flip shot. It was a little nose up, wasn't the best shot. So we're gonna do it again. Hopefully there's a little bit of hyzer. Wow. That's parked. I actually overthrew the basket there. Wow, this thing flies really nice. Threw that on some hyzer, flipped up flat, never turned, just went straight. Oh my gosh, I really like this driver, guys. Really, really like. So in my opinion, Latitude makes some of the best drivers in the game. The Grace is one of my favorite, favorite ever distance drivers that I've ever thrown. It's just got such a nice flight to it. Super smooth, super buttery and glidey the whole way. Same thing with this disc, guys. It's the same thing. This feels just like a Grace, but a little bit more stable maybe. Uh, a little bit, little bit uh, thicker rim, if that's what you're into. So, 
Man, I, I'm really liking this. When this comes out in like a Halo Orbit plastic, man, it's over with. It's over with. This is probably going to be, this could be the distance driver that knocks out the destroyers in, in the in the bag. I'm not going to lie. This, this thing could rival all of those discs in my bag, the time lapse, just because, I mean, especially once it does come out in different plastics, I am really liking how this flies. I don't understand what it is. I, listen guys, I play out here all the time and do I park this hole every time? No. I, I yeah I can throw the distance but usually I end up a little bit pin high to the right because my disc kind of flipped over a little too much I end up short of the basket because the disc was too overstable for that slot so maybe I need something like this kind of that in-betweener slot because I mean I'm pretty freaking bizarre on this basket right now if I can put it in with a driver I mean just that easy it's like so this might actually be kind of a slot in my bag that I don't really have right now. Because like I said, usually when I throw this hole, I end up kind of pin high with a, you know, my flippy destroyer or my Hades or something, because it doesn't have enough stability to actually come back. I throw it on hyzer, it pops up flat, maybe gets a little drift and doesn't really come back enough to get under the basket. I end up kind of under the tree or whatever, pin high. And then when I try to throw something more overstable, like my time lapse, I end up a little short because it just fades out a little too early. But this thing pushes straight for just that little bit of extra time, but also fades at the end. It still has a nice reliable fade. So this might actually be the slot I've been looking for in my bag. We're gonna throw it out there on the forehand this time, see how it does. Oh, she is so, go in. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know how I missed that right there. That really just, just, I don't know how it didn't hit metal. I come on here and I do these reviews. I'm not lying to you guys. I've got no reason to try to sell this disc. I don't make any money if you guys go and buy this disc from anywhere, whether it be from Flight Factory, from Latitude Directly, wherever you like to buy your discs from, I'm not making any money off of those, okay? But I love this disc. I can't tell you guys enough to go buy this disc. It's freaking awesome. It's not as overstable as the numbers suggest. It is definitely not a neg one a negative one three. Gosh, that coffee is getting to me. But uh, yeah, this is definitely not a negative one three. I would probably give it like, it's pretty neutral, I'd say. Maybe a negative one two, maybe even a negative one one. It's pretty neutral, guys. It really doesn't have a lot of turn. It doesn't have a lot of like super hard dumpy fade at the end either. It's kind of just, kind of just goes straight. It's kind of neutral. Whether I throw it flat, hyzer, it, it just it just goes. It really just freaking goes. I don't know how to how else to explain it. Let's see if we can't do something cool. Made it through. <laughs> Somehow we made it through. Not sure how that happened, but it was cool. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really had fun with this disc, a lot more than I expected. I'm probably gonna throw it in the bag for a little bit just to play around with and uh, see how it does. We've got a new longer course out here in Pensacola. It's called Lexington Park. It's now on U-Disc, so if you guys wanna go check it out, make sure you go check it out. We're gonna be taking this drive out there and uh, throwing it on some longer holes and testing it out and see how it does actually fare on the course. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. I really like this disc. Hope you guys like it too. You guys throw about 350 consistently, then uh, I would definitely go pick one of these up. They're, they, you know, they might help you get a little bit more distance out of your game than, uh, than your other distance drivers. So, But who knows? I don't know. I'm not an expert. I could be totally wrong on this. I, I just feel like this thing goes a little bit further than my other discs, a little bit easier than my other discs. So take that uh, how you will. That's all we got for you today. I'm going to see you guys next time. Love y'all. Peace. Right after I throw it in on this hole real quick. POV. Told you.